This short presentation will provide you with some information about the changes happening to home care in Gwynedd. The purpose of the home care service is to help people live their lives as they wish to live them. To make this happen, it's very important that we create a strong partnership between community groups, people who provide care and professionals in the area. And we're already working to bring people closer together and make this happen. We have an opportunity to make sure there is less paperwork and bureaucracy, thus creating more capacity for staff to spend more time with people who need support in the community. We need to focus on people's strengths and on community strengths and local networks and see how these things can help people have a good life. We want to make sure there is consistency across the county. There are some people in some areas who are not able to receive care because of staff shortages and we need to rectify the situation. And we also want to make sure that all members of staff whoever they work for, have fair and consistent working terms and conditions. We've spent time learning about how the home care system used to work. We found that staff have a specific list of tasks to be completed within an allocated slot of time. There's not a lot of flexibility within that system for staff to be able to do the right thing for people as their circumstances change. We've also found that staff and their manager had to spend a lot of time filling out various forms, creating paperwork, and that this reduces the time that they have to spend with individuals in the community. The shortage of care staff is a big problem. We hope that by making changes to improve the service, it will be easier to attract and recruit more people into this field of work. In the old system, we found that the period between assessing a person's needs and that person actually receiving care from the staff on the ground was way too long. There are many steps, a lot of paperwork and bureaucracy and many different people involved with the process. By changing the system and making care staff a part of the community resource team, the care staff could make decisions with the individual at the right time in their own home. This will mean that more time is spent caring for people, doing things that improve their quality of life and that a lot less time is spent on managerial tasks. Once we knew what we needed to change in the old way of working, we went about piloting a different way. We worked with partners in the private and third sector as well as the internal council provider service to ensure that we'd really focused on what matters to individuals. We knew that we would be learning along the way about some of the barriers, about what needed to change and how we could work in a different way to do the best for people. Through piloting, we have learned a great deal and a new model has been developed. It's a model focused on people's strengths the individuals who need support and those people around them within the community resource team. It's a model where local providers work very, very closely with other professions and benefit from the expertise that exists within the CRT. It's a model where staff are able to tailor the support and care they provide for individuals as their circumstances change or depending on what matters to them on that day or during that specific visit. We have learned that we need to raise the status of the home carer role, develop the skills of the workforce and improve the working terms and conditions for the workforce that plays such a crucial role within the community. We intend to have one provider within each local, local patch in Gwynedd. That provider will be able to develop a very close working relationship with the other professions in that area. The intention is to commission and deliver a service within local patches. Gwynedd has been split into 16 smaller patches, each of these surrounding a small town or large village. This map shows the patches where the service will be provided by the Council's internal home care service in blue, the patches that will be shared between the internal service and an external provider in green, 
And lastly, those patches where an external provider will provide the service in yellow. A tendering process for these yellow and green areas will happen in the new year. As we move towards the new model, these are some of the key messages. Individuals will still receive the care that they need. But as we move to the new system with one provider in each local patch, it's possible that some people will face a change in their care provider. And this is where the role of the community resource team is so important to give full support to individuals and their families as they face this change in their lives. There are plenty of jobs for council staff and staff working for external providers, and we really need much more staff to take on the home care role within the county. Council staff will be able to stay and work for the council. Some may need to change their work area slightly, but there will be work for all the council staff. Some staff may transfer through the TUP process from one provider to another. But managers are there to support all staff members, whoever they work for throughout this period of change. As we've said before, one of the aims of this model is to ensure better and more consistent terms and conditions for staff across the county, whoever they work for. And there are more opportunities becoming available for home care staff all the time. And these are the next steps to be taken. In January and February 2022, a letter will be sent to individuals who receive home care and to staff telling them about the new model and the planned changes. The tendering process will start. It'll take about five months to complete and it'll give external providers the opportunity to apply to provide home care in one or more of the local patches. By the summer of 2022, we'll be able to award the contracts to the providers to work in specific patches. Then, over a period of about six months or so, we will be transferring care packages from one provider to another, transferring staff between providers if needs be, and this will all be done carefully and mindfully, gradually over an extended period of time, so that no one is faced with any sudden changes. Over time, the new model will become embedded, making sure that the providers become an integral part of the local community resource teams and we'll see the new arrangements coming to fruition. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Please get in touch for more information.